Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and we're back at it. Um, what's going on is we got the race car pulled in, and now it's time to get ready for our pine tree jamboree that we want to go to. Um, I've got to hustle, because uh, I've got a lot of things I've got to do to get the car prepared to go. Uh, I need a gas tank. I need to put a, I'm going to take this window out and put a new win window in it. I have to fix the brakes, make sure them work. I have to put a floor in it. I have to do a bunch of things, but today I'm going to make a gas tank and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. And I'm not even going to really make a gas tank. What I want is I want a moon tank that goes up front because basically all we're going to be doing is running it down the track. I'm not sure if it's an eighth mile, quarter mile, or whatever it is. But basically I just want a moon tank that goes up front. Could have bought one. It probably cost me a couple hundred dollars, probably no doubt in my mind. But I just want to make one so we have some gas to run it. And that's all we need is a little bit of gas to get down the track and get back. And then we can put more gas in it. That's what I'm thinking. But as I'm doing this, what I have done is I've gone up to my boneyard. And I've been looking around for something to make a moon tank out of. And sometimes it's hard to get what you need. So I basically just keep walking around trying to find something. I've come over this morning and I found, I've got a gas tank there. I could hook something like that up, but I'm thinking it's too big. Um, I've got a Labatt's uh, keg there. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's aluminum. That is aluminum. I have a few other things around that I looked at, but basically what I've come to is I've found some, I don't think you're gonna wanna go in here, baby. What I've done is I've come up with the idea. I found some headlights here I got from Jimbo quite a long time ago. I have looked at them and, I, and there's a couple square ones here. And what I'm thinking in my brain is if I take them two headlights and mount them together like so, that would make a pretty good looking moon tank because of the shape, you know, round shape, this shape, and then I can weld them together and that sort of stuff. So I've taken two of those into the shop and I'm going to make myself a moon tank. So I'm going to take you inside. I've already picked them out. I've already chosen them. So there, there's what I did. I found two headlights. But I had other stuff laying around. But basically um, I took what I wanted to make a moon tank. And, I, and I'm doing what I have to do to get it done. So let's go back in the shop for a minute. So we're making a moon tank out of, of a cut, out of a couple of headlights. So this is, this is the headlight that I've chosen. This is this headlight I've chosen. Uh, I pulled out the, the light itself. It had a, a bulb in there. That's the piece where the, where the wire had come out to light the bulb up. And that's what the inside looked like. So I took a stripper wheel and went inside there, cleaned it out the best I could. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a moon tank out of a couple headlights. I've got another headlight here, which I have taken the light out of that and uh, we have got two headlights two headlights and I've got an extra one of these another light thing, thing there so what I've done is I've already started and Joey's to stop we're gonna make headlights we're gonna make a moon tank of headlights we want to show you so what I've done is I've welded a fitting in where the light come out or the power for the light come out I welded a fitting in there and I've got a uh, chuck for a paint gun so i just protrude that on there i'm thinking that's going to be my gas outlet so my gas outlet's going to come out here and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to mount that on like that i'm thinking it's an awful small moon tank it is but to be honest with you for as much as we're going to run it like up and down the track i'm thinking that that would be lots but as I get looking at it, when I get up to the front of the car, I have a wider mounting bracket area that I can mount and I can weld them together. Yes, I can. And I know up here like that, I'm gonna weld this in here. So we've got, this can be the place where we'll put our gas in. This will be the place where the gas comes out. Uh, these two brackets here can be brackets that I'm gonna put the moon tank on or hook them to. Um, now, when I do this, this is what I've did. This is what I've done, sorry. I've taken these two headlights. I know that I've got, here's a gallon pot can.
Well, I know I at least got a gallon of gas because there's a gallon um, inside them, two headlights. Also, I have a bunch of room on the outside of that gallon. So that means I have a bunch of room on the outside of that gallon. I'm thinking that I would have probably a gallon and a half of gas. And I'm thinking I might put a piece in the center to make it bigger, but I don't know if I need it any bigger, you know? Uh, And that's the thing. If, if, if I'm thinking about, basically what I'll do is, what I think I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run, maybe widen it out just a little bit. We'll put a piece in the center, widen it out just a little bit. Just give me a little bit more gas in case she's up there idling or whatever, um, waiting in place. So basically what I'm thinking is that, that might not, I'm thinking it should be, but that doesn't look bad, does it, sweetheart? We could weld that right down the middle like that and be done with it. Yes, we could. But we also can add a piece to it. And I'm just not sure whether I want to add a piece to it that just means twice the welding. I can weld down around it once and be done with it. Or I can weld it on this side and that side to go down through the middle of it. I have a spout here. Or a, I don't know what you call that. Pipe fitters, pipe fitting. So I bought a cup. What, swear? Your mic. Mic just shut off? Did something. Just gonna put it down. Oh, my mic did something, so she she caught it. She has a, you have an, an ear piece in that tells you where it went bad? Cool. So, so I've got this piece here. It's for a pipe fitting, I guess. Went and picked this up this morning. It's got tape all over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount this piece on that piece. I'm gonna cut that off and mount that. How about we mount that right now and I can think about what I'm gonna do for the putting it together. I got a cover. We'll have to have a um, some gas and then we'll have to have a funnel to put our gas in. I suppose you could put a, yeah, just a funnel and put some gas in there. That'll be my gas cover. And we're gonna cut this off right now. And uh, let's do it. Let's cut it off. So basically, it's like always, I use what I have and I do what I have to do to get it done. I went downtown, you can see I have some al aluminum back here in a roll. It's a roll of aluminum for a fascia on a roof or anything like that. And uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna use it to put in the floor for Jolene's car to make it as light as possible. the best I can. Perfect fit. We'll clean this one up a little bit and then we'll weld that on there. I'm not sure if I want it that long. Be nice to have it a little bit shorter. It would be nice to have it a little bit shorter. I'm gonna cut this off a little bit more I guess. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to it with something different than my hands. Maybe I'll put it in a pair of ice grips. Just to make it look a little bit better, I think. What the heck?
make that look a little bit better. Shorter. So we're just gonna weld that on top of there like that. We'll turn the welder on. And then we'll figure out, I guess we might open her up a little bit just in case. Um, what I mean by opening it up, we'll put a piece in the center of it to make it a little bit bigger than probably a gallon and a half, just to make sure that she has enough fuel to go up to the line and have a little bit of fun. Thunder Bay, Ontario was an awesome time. We had an excellent time. We gotta thank John, uh, the guy that um, Brang is there. We have to thank him for that. We appreciate it. Had a good time. Get my helmet on. Lots of nice cars. Lots of good people. Jolene showed a few videos on there. It's good. So I'm just going to tack that on there. Welded on there is what I'm going to do. Sometimes that pipe fitting stuff is like a galvanized coating and it welds a little funny. Probably turned up whacked high. And it was. So basically, I've got a spout on there. So that's going to be where I'm going to put my gas in. That's where the gas is going in there. Gas is going out there. So that's what we have to have. Now what I'm gonna say is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up two inches. I'm gonna open it up that wide, give it a little bit more shape. Let's do it. Alrighty, we're just gonna go down the end down here, the shear, we'll grab some metal. I'm gonna take my marker. We're gonna mark a piece. We'll put we'll put two inches in it. Why not? Two inches. I got my my tape measure around here. Must be up front. Alrighty. I'm gonna tape measure a piece of metal two inches, and we'll cut it off in the shear so we can get a nice straight line. That we're there, we get a nice start. And uh, I really don't, I don't know if I have to do the, to do the two inches, you know, the gallon and a half might be enough, but we're going to, we're going to make it at least two. So we're going to shear a piece off. There's one.
I'm hoping that'll wrap around it. I don't want to do piece it up too much. I'd like to do it out of one, but didn't have any metal long enough. So I'm doing what I have to do to make myself happy. Get it done. So we'll take that back there. Take a marker. Might as well take this with us. Jolene looks amazing today. And you ask me why I say that every day? Because it's true. It's true. She's also very smart. You know, sometimes, some, sometimes, sometimes I just say she's, she's just good looking, and she's all this and all that. But basically, um, her brains are just as beautiful. I'm just gonna roll it through there. Try to give me a little bit of shape. Just so it fits better when I apply it. I don't have to apply it around. And it'll be round itself somewhat. I'll do both pieces that way there we have them. Come on. I'll have to cut them off to butt them together, I will. Like always. I'm, I'm thinking that the tank is probably big enough, but I guess we'll have enough gas for to make sure that's all, I guess. Won't we, baby? Have enough gas to make sure. And I say we're going to Pine Tree. I hope we make it, you know. There's still a lot to do. Um, when we're there, like Jolene wants to work and do her videos and stuff like that. That's what we do. But basically, that's going to take time, you know. So I have to, uh, this game has to include her and her time to be able to do her job. And have fun. Even though we were in Thunder Bay, uh, Jolene worked. And the reason being is because you got to see content. That's how you know. Oh, that's that thing. I wonder what that noise was, eh? That, uh... Boop, boop, boop. I want to cut this straight. So we're making a moon tank from a set of headlights. We got things going on here today. If I got enough, I'll use it. All right, I got enough. So basically what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start that off and tack it on. I wanna turn on the air compressor. Get in there. I'm gonna turn the air compressor just to blow them headlights out the best I can before I even start. I've cleaned it out with a um, stripper wheel to start with. And I uh, just want to make sure all the junk is out of there. I know I can blow it out, the, the filler nozzle, but there's nothing like blowing it out before you put it together. Nothing like it. Probably going to tow some of that stuff down there. That's all right. So we're on a little bit of a thrash, but it's a good thrash. We'll have to filter it. We've got a little bit of rust left in there, but can't get at it. Not gonna worry about it. Not gonna worry about it. Okay, we're gonna place one side on. We've got a nice line to place that on. We'll turn our welder on. Now, we turn this on. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. So, we're going to follow the line here, or the edge.
It wanted to burn me there, didn't it? Okay. Straight edge. Get it somewhere the same. Ah, hard to hold, especially when it's a little bit hot. Mm -hmm. Ouch! Burnt me. Burnt me. Burnt me again. Just hard to do with a pair of gloves on, that's all. And then we'll slice that together. Cool. I don't know how much more gas I'm thinking that we're gonna get, but it'll be more than it was before. That's all I can say, it would be more than it would before. We'll have over two gallons, that's for sure. I'm gonna split that now. A pair of vice grips on that. One end down on. I turn the welder back on. Excuse me, sweetheart. Got the cords going to run out to the to the tractor. Have to move the tractor. We're getting push this one on all the way. Huh. Turn that on. Got the ground on. Where we zipped them together, we got the, the perfect fit. Not sure, we almost could. Holding it a little longer than normal to make sure that I get good penetration. And what I see, I see the penetration in there. Now I know I can cut that off when it comes to, or grind that off nice when it comes time. That's what I know. Just gonna pick, beat that right. Beat it into submission. Put our ground on there again. Just gonna hit it. Just want good penetration, that's all I want. Or making sure of. When it's tight together like that, it's hard to get perfect penetration. If you want to try to grind it all off, we want to try to grind it all off to make it look good. Right, just touch that with a hammer. Something like this. It's hard, like I mean, we, I could have done probably that out of one piece, but if you're sectioning a fender or something like that, it's Sometimes better to do it out of two and three pieces, you know. Just easier. Penetration, good penetration. I'll be able to grind it off when it comes time. Alrighty. Just 
gonna blow it out again, just for shits and giggles. All right, now I want this going down, and I guess it doesn't matter which way this goes. Now, the hard part is gonna be able to get it perfectly. It's still warm. Nope. Come on out now to get it where I want it. If you know what I'm trying to tell you. Pull on it a little bit. Ouch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it. I'm going to tack it right there where it looks good and then I'll, I won't pull it all the way out so I, I'll have something to help me hold it. There. Now I can pry on it a little bit and it will not come up. Ah, I broke it off. Didn't work out so good. I want to knock that weld off because it's bothering me now. Darn it. Uh, got a plug in right here. Look at that. Let's do that. that again probably stop it don't want to listen to you I'm gonna try that again probably just nail it down a little bit harder that's all hopefully I can stop it from That's the hard part, people. Hmm. Ah, did it again. There we go. It held on that time. Bad. All right, I'm happy, happy with that. Let's pack it on. You know, I'll have to. Ooh, I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm glad, yeah, I'm lucky I got that on there. But anyways, and I'm going to have to weld that all the way around there, obviously. Right now, I'm going to make some brackets. Alrighty. There's the gas outlet, gas inlet, and we got our shape. That's basically what I wanted. I wanted a, a, a good-looking shape for a moon tank. Basically, that's what I wanted. Didn't... Didn't want to have to go anywhere to get anything welded up or any do anything. If to buy one, it would have cost me. Would have cost me. <clears throat> so we've got an area here. I'm going to weld, make a couple brackets um, where this tank can be mounted on the front. <clears throat> I'm going to. What I'm going to do is when I'll make the brackets, 
right now. But on the tank itself, I've got an air check. I'll apply air to it. Um, I've got a little thing up there. I think I should show you right now. I'll apply air to it. Not, you don't want to apply much over five pounds. You, if you do, you'll start wrecking things. I got that screwed in there. There we go. Then we'll know, little air chuck there. We'll take this chuck out, screw this one on, take this chuck out of here, screw it on there. Uh, we'll have, we can put air in it here. Also, we can check and see what kind of pressure if it goes down. So all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna apply this piece to here. I'll have to take it, take this off and apply it so it fits there. And then I'll put air in here. I'll see what the pressure is and then I'll just see if the pressure comes down, if it leaks or not. Or I can spray with, with um, soapy water, whatever, see where the leaks are. But basically I don't wanna go over any over five pounds on that thing because I will destroy All right, sorry about that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this to this. So I gotta take this out and make this work. Screw that on there. Pull this one out. Screw it on there. And I'm gonna put air in there. I'm not gonna go over five pounds on that. And that way there I'll know whether it's holding air. If it leaks air, it'll, it'll go down. But you do not wanna put much more than five pounds of air in that tank. I'm just gonna, might as well leave that right over here. So I'm gonna gear it up so I can get air in the tank. That's how I do it. But right now I'm gonna make a bracket so this stays on the front. So we've got this here, I've got this piece here, this piece here, I've got the straight axle going. We, we need to make a bracket that comes off the front of this to hold the tank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make something out of cardboard, no doubt in my mind, and then apply it that way. And that also can rest on that. It's not gonna hurt it any. It all depends where I wanna put it. Do you wanna do it front like that or in like that? I can't really tell by not looking at it. Uh, about like that, I would say probably be nice. So I'm just gonna take, what am I gonna do? Set that on there. Um, ba, 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 ba. Now I wanna set that on there. I sort of wanna be able to, if I wanna work on things, I wanna be able to take it off, you know? If I wanna take the straight axle, or the cross spring out, transfer spring out, I'll be able to take it off. Would be nice. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a couple brackets on the tank itself and then bolt it to this piece. And then I can unbolt it, take it off, take it on, and do whatever. All right, I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard. Got a marker right there. A pair of scissors. So, if you want to make a moon tank, I'm just gonna take the marker, and I'm gonna lay a piece of cardboard on here, take the marker, and follow the tank. And that should give me sort of a, a cut that I need that'll fit. Just kind of mimicking or scribing it to the tank. that fits that. I'm 
I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna scribe it to this so I get the whole piece. That fits nice, actually. I'm gonna cut that off straight there. The reason I'm cutting that off is that's where it fits the nicest, from there to there. It gives me a little bit of the thing. Now, if I want that to come out here, I want that to come out like that. That I'm just tracing, that's all I'm doing, is just tracing. I'm just tracing. I'm going to mark from here. This is the top of this right here. That's the top. I'm just marking the top. And I'm going to draw a straight line from the top to this. And I'm going to cut that off because it didn't look right. So I'm going to get a straight edge. Ba -ba -ba. So, get a piece like this. Going there to there. This moon tank didn't come with braces, brackets. So we'll make them. Now, you can see how it wants to come this side, sweetheart. You see how this fits that up in there like that. Cut it off down the back side so it fits there nice. Actually, now I'm going to cut this because it, it would actually be a nice brace. If you come take a look at this side here, I've got it cut. Okay, there it fits, just like that. It fits nice and straight up and down there with that. Got a nice line going on with that. It comes from the top. Now, just have to figure out if it's in too far or not. Or out too far. I'd say we take it back in a little bit. Just a little bit to make it. And what I mean by take it back in a little bit, is take it in towards the car a little bit. So I'm going to mim mimic this shape right here because that shape's already gotten. So I'm going to take it back in inch and a little bit. I'm just going to mimic that. off. Could be a little bit rounder, but that'll give me a little bit to weld. It's not bad. So we'll put that in there like so. We have to have two of those. We'll bolt them right there. One there. Two bolts in that. Two bolts in that. One bolt it. This bracket here will be welded to the tank. In further out further you like it like it okay so we need two brackets that shape right there back to the junkyard let's go to the junkyard a couple pieces of scrap out here some thicker metal <laughs> like I'm scuffing right along aren't I huh Don't want to bend that. Some plate, some one eighth plate. That should work fine. Sure. Alrighty, let's do a couple brackets. Let's take it back here because I can bring the Bring the plasma cutter and we'll cut this quickly with a plasma cutter. Cut two of them. Hmm. I always say to use a straight edge, but huh. no real straight edge to cut on it. We'll get down in here first. We'll take this piece. We'll need two of those, obviously. 
one for each side. We'll get the plasma cutter going. Get the air. On the fly moon tank. That's what they call that, on the fly moon tank. I hope you fly, Jolene. Right now, basically, I'm hoping that I get it together so we make it. <laughs> basically. Uh, huh, baby? Yeah. Alrighty. Now, a straight edge would be nice to have on this to cut this, but I'm going to freehand it. Just looking for a place to set it up on. stool here. We'll freehand it and then we'll cut another one. Does not much matter. Just marking it twice because sometimes it's hard to see on this rusty metal. You understand that? Guard was grabbing me.
Thank you, Lincoln. That's the 375 Tomahawk Air. I uh, just blew through that 1 8 plate like cheese, and I appreciate it. I'm gonna grab it with, I'm gonna grab this one. This one should be cool by now. Knock off the slag. Just knock it off the hammer. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll vice grip them together, and then I'll make them both exactly the same, and then we'll punch some holes in them. No slag on that side. Slag and make them the same at the same time. Not bad. Not bad at all. And it's just like Dorothy said. There's no place like home. No place like home. Alrighty, we're just gonna put that together like that. Just gonna grind that off so they both look similar. Another pair of vice grips to hold it while I shake that one off. Yeah, Russ, is, Russ from uh, from uh, Thunder Bay. Russ's collection was amazing. It was amazing, especially where I'm into that stuff, sort of. You know, not sort of, I am into it. It's just hard to do cars and collect the signs and stuff like that, but what an amazing collection. Kevin's stuff, his junk air was amazing. <laughs>
that one off. Alrighty, we got two pieces. We're gonna clamp them on the side of the on the side of the car. I'm gonna un well, I'm gonna leave that for a second because I know it's making noise, but I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna have to hook it back on anyway. I got one bracket for yay. Here yay, here yay. One bracket for this side. And what I'm doing is I'm leaving that plasma cutter hooked up because I can blow a hole in um, what's going on. I can take a hammer. There's our tank. So we'll tack that tank. We'll take a mark, put a mark on that. Left my marker up there. I know I would have. Nope, right here, I'm gonna get a hammer so I can adjust them a little bit. I'll take it off for a second. Joanne happy about that? She smiled. What a pretty smile. What a pretty smile. Alrighty, I just wanna make sure that's fitting that right. Fitting it right on this side. Good. Just gonna get back, take a look at it. I'm gonna take a marker and hold this up to it. I'm just gonna center it with my, my eyes. Good enough to, if it looks good enough, it's good enough for me. I'm just gonna mark it. Mark it. You can see that we're a little bit crooked on one of them. So what I'll do, this is, that's just for cleaning purposes anyways. So let's go clean it. I need the welder to tack it on. And I need the plasma cutter to cut some holes. So I'm gonna clean this first. Just hope my brackets are not going to be in the way of the welding. I don't think they are. Because if they were, I'd wait. I don't think they're going to be. So let's go weld some brackets. Let's turn the welder around. These back here. Step over there. It's gonna come back just a little bit further. We're all good. We're good in the hood, baby. We're good in the hood. Alrighty, we got that. Alrighty. We're gonna ground. That there. Turn the welder on. Try and do this as fast as I can. And it's good to do it sometimes as fast as you can. How would you know how good you are if you never do it as fast as you can? How would you know if how good you were if you don't do it as fast as you can? That piece there is going good. I want that up and over. I'm just gonna tack it. That way there I can change it or do anything I want to it at any time. Pack one side, and then we'll go to the other side. Alrighty. Now to me, it's gonna be picked up a little bit. Oh. 
wonderful. Alrighty, I got that tacked in there in place. Does not hit the bottom on this side at all. What's going on there? Haven't got that cut right, have I? This side looks really... I'm gonna have to let that go and roll that down in there. I wonder if I can... I don't really wanna pull it off because... Because, why? Because it rips it from the tank. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it down and then I'm gonna fill the gap. Not gonna worry about it. There. I'll fill that gap. Not gonna worry about it. See if it's still good. Ha! <laughs> Looks crooked now. Damn it. Gotta cut it off. That didn't work out for me. That's okay. Because you, you know what to do. Cut it off. Thought I was cruising straight ahead, I thought. the gap. Let's just take a look, make sure. I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. Just wasn't paying attention the first time. Also, gap on this side's good. All coat hanger, whatever's. Awesome, I'm good with that. Let's bow a couple holes in that while we got that on there. That way there we'll know where to bolt it. So I've got Our tank on where we want it. Got it tacked both sides so it's going to stay in place. Got it vice gripped where I want it on the car. Let's put a couple holes. And I'm just looking to make sure that I've got everything out of the way. Alrighty. Got two holes. Yeah, we'll drill them both with the same pair of same pair of can't see that well. I want a little light. Gonna turn the old camera on. All right, that's better. We'll go. Good. So basically, I guess that's what I'm showing you. Moon tank. I guess it's how fast can you can you make a tank for your car? So we've taken two headlights. Uh, we've widened them out two inches. Clean the inside out. We put a spout on it. We put a 
uh, for the gas to come out, an outlet for the gas. We've made a bracket. We've made two brackets, and then we got two holes to bolt it on. So I'm going to weld this up. I'm going to weld that up on that side. I'm going to drill the holes on the brackets. We already know where the holes are. We know where both holes are because we just put a hole through there. I got to weld the tank up. I've got my little thing to know how much pressure I put in the tank. And basically, how fast can you make a moon tank from nothing? And uh, that's it. See you later, everybody. Moon tank from headlights. <laughs>